Hello, and welcome to the Salvation Army's virtual exhibit hall for the Commission on the Status of Women, CSW 66. Did you know that the Salvation Army has been involved with the United Nations since the start? Thanks to the initiative of General Evangeline Booth. And the Salvation Army today continues to be responsive to humanity's greatest needs in over 130 countries. For example, the Salvation Army is active in responding to modern slavery and human trafficking in over 100 countries serving nearly 10,000 survivors. Learn more in our exhibit hall. The Salvation Army has recently established our own International Social Justice Girls Group, whom you'll meet in our exhibit hall. Worldwide, the Salvation Army educates over a half a million students with over 20,000 teachers. More on this. Did you know the Salvation Army has its own fair trade initiative? Others trade for hope? Are you interested in the arts? The Salvation Army is also involved in children's choirs from Mexico, timbrelists, tambourine players from Kenya, ladies, brass bands, dancers from the Philippines, and more. Please join us and enjoy the Salvation Army's virtual exhibit hall for CSW 66. I am the youth representative for the Salvation Army, as well as the chair for the International Social Justice Girls. The International Social Justice Girls was created in the fall of 2021 with the purpose of empowering, encouraging, and educating girls from across the globe in the Salvation Army. Over 40 girls applied, only 25 were selected, and they represent 15 different countries and 10 different languages. They are essentially girl advocates. We want to encourage the girls to use their voices at a grassroots level. We uh, encourage girls to share what they already know. We encourage the girls to use the skills that they have. For example, one of the girls actually designed our logo. We empower the girls to connect with one another, to share what they already know and to listen to what they don't know. We empower the girls through different resources and different tools that we provide. For example, we bring guest speakers to our monthly meetings to uh, educate the girls 
on different issues and topics that they may not have known before. We um, empower them, encourage them, and educate them. We have educated them on what the United Nations are. We have educated them on what the Sustainable Development Goals are. And we educated them on Commission on the Status of Women. We encourage them to attend meetings uh, during the month of March, during CSW, on the events that interest them, on different issues that they're passionate about. Um, and then when we meet again, we encourage them to share what they have found, what they found interesting, what empowered them, what really impacted them when attending those, event, those events. We split our girls into five distinct groups to represent the first five SDGs. So we have an SDG 1, um, no poverty group, SDG 2, zero hunger group, SDG 3, good health and well-being group, SDG 4, quality education group, and SDG 5, gender equality group. We encourage the girls to meet often to talk about their issues that they are uh, passionate about, social justice issues, as well as issues related to their SDG. And when we meet monthly, we encourage the girls to share what they have found uh, with the rest of the other groups so that everyone receives information on each of the five SDGs, how it's related in their community, in their country, in their life as a girl, um, also in the Salvation Army, or internationally on an international scale. We want to encourage the girls to use their voices, to use the skills that they already have, and use us as the tool to help them get to where they want to be. We want to encourage them to become girl advocates, which they are, to become change makers, leaders, researchers, um, anything that they desire to be. We hope that you will encourage girls in your community, girls in your organization, and may you uh, support us as well. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Camila and I come from the South American East Territory. I'm Solar in Salvation Army. I play a role of a bucket for girls with the group. Hola a todos, soy Camila Kidayan, soy del territorio este de Sudamérica, soldada del Ejército de Salvación y tengo el papel de defensora de las niñas en el grupo de chicas de Justicia Social Internacional. Este grupo está formado por 25 chicas que venimos de 15 países distintos y hablamos 10 idiomas diferentes. Parte de nuestra participación en este grupo es juntarnos y hablar sobre los ODS, la importancia de los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible en cada iglesia, en cada país y sobre todo en el mundo. Tomé la decisión de formar parte de este grupo y ser una defensora de las niñas para ser esa voz que muchos no tienen, que no se pueden defender con su propia voz. Considero que muchos de nosotros, a veces, en nuestra propia comodidad en la que vivimos, no somos suficientemente conscientes de la cantidad de personas que necesitan de nuestra ayuda. Muchas mujeres y niñas que se encuentran en situación de pobreza extrema, que son discriminadas. Muchas de estas niñas no saben lo que es ir al colegio, lo que es la salud, y creo que estar en este grupo me da la oportunidad de llegar a muchos eh, y poder hacer conciencia de, de estas personas que necesitan de nuestra ayuda. Creo que no hablo de forma personal, sino también como todo el grupo, que es una gran bendición poder formar parte de esto. Eh, con mis compañeras hemos aprendido muchísimo durante estos encuentros que estuvimos teniendo donde anotamos y conocimos cosas que capaz no, no conocíamos. Tuvimos la oportunidad de formar parte de eventos relacionados a la ONU, hablar de temas de relación a la justicia social y sobre todo dar nuestros talentos a la justicia para Dios. En este año eh, asisto por primera vez a la 66 Comisión de la Condición Jurídica y Social de las Mujeres y el tema de este año, es largo así que se los leo, es lograr la igualdad de género y el empoderamiento de todas las mujeres y niñas en el contexto del cambio climático, el medio ambiente y las políticas de reducción del riesgo de desastre. En este grupo... Eh, se trabaja sobre cinco objetivos de desarrollo sostenibles principalmente y uno de estos es el cambio climático que trabaja el grupo general. Eh, es 
muy importante hablar de este tema porque básicamente nos afecta a nosotros mismos en lo que comemos, lo que tomamos en nuestro alrededor. Eh, en este grupo nos han separado por cinco ODS en el cual yo formo parte del primero que es fin de la pobreza y el cambio climático ha tenido un gran impacto en lo que es la pobreza y creo que podríamos estar hablando mucho tiempo de cómo vemos afectada eh, los desastres climáticos que afectan a las vidas de las personas pobres eh, con escasez en la tierra, inundaciones, eh, no poder tener ningún material para salir adelante de forma económica. Eh, el grupo de justicia social de las chicas es importante porque podemos llegar a más personas, capaz no todos eh, se sienten cómodos estando de este lado, pero sí podemos llevar eh, esperanza eh, y sobre todo el amor de Dios que tiene para cada uno de nosotros. El trabajo que hacemos es sumamente importante, como dije anteriormente, estamos usando nuestras voces y conocimientos para educar a otros eh, y como chica del de grupo de justicia social tengo la oportunidad de conocer a otras eh, y conocer también cómo a ellas les afecta este cambio climático eh, lo que espero lograr con este grupo es llegar a muchas más personas de todo tipo de edad y poder concientizar la necesidad que tienen muchas de, de estas personas eh, y poder dar un granito de esperanza, un granito de fe en cada una de estas vidas. Muchas gracias por escucharme y espero que sigan apoyando a las mujeres y a las niñas y a todos los jóvenes. Bendiciones. My name is Rebecca and I'm from Indonesia. I'm 19 years old and I'm a medical student. I'm a soldier at the South Asian Army and I am a girl advocate for the International Social Justice Girls. We are 25 girls from 15 countries who speak 10 different languages. A part of our role as girl advocates are to come together and discuss the sustainable development goals and the importance they have in the communities and our church, as well as our countries and also in the world. We attend meetings to discuss social justice issues, attend UN related events, research and present our findings and use our talents for social justice and for God. This year, I am attending the 66th Commission on the Status of Women for the First Time. The theme for this year is Achieving Gender Equality and the Empowerment of All Women and Girls in the Context of Climate Change, Environmental and Disaster Risk Reduction Policies and Programs. Climate change is an important topic to talk about because it affects us personally. What we eat and drink, how we breathe, our environment and our community are all affected by climate change. In the International Social Justice Girls, we were put into groups to focus on the first five SDGs. I am a part of SDG3 group, Good Health and Well-Being. Climate change has had a big impact on our good health and well-being. This includes air pollution, COVID-19, natural disasters, and much more that impacts everyone, especially us, the girls and women. Climate change also impacts our physical, mental, and community health. The reason why I applied to be a girl advocate and to be part in the International Social Justice Girls is because I want to know more about social justice and how we girls can take part in it. I want to do small things that will help us to achieve our goals and because I believe that small things lead to big changes. The work that we do is important. We are using our voices and knowledge to educate ourselves and others of the importance that climate change has on me, a girl. Being a girl advocate in the International Social Justice Girls gives me the opportunity to meet all the girl advocates from across the world and also to learn the impact that climate change has had on them and that continues to affect them. What I hope to accomplish by being a part of this group and by being a girl advocate is for the community I live in to be more aware and more educated about how to protect the world from the pollution and so that we can create a better and a healthier environment. Thank you for taking the time to listen and I hope that you will continue to support us girls and young women.
My name is Howard Dalziel and I'm the director for Salvation Army Schools International. Worldwide, we're responsible for more than 2,700 schools. We have half a million pupils and there are 20,000 teachers. For every Salvation Army school, it's important that we add significant value to the lives of children, academically, socially, psychologically, and spiritually. It's significant to enable them to access the next level of education and give them the skills that enables them to lead a fulfilling life in their community and with their families. Geographically, we work primarily in rural, remote communities and complex urban environments. The important thing is though, that wherever we are, we're a link between the school and the church and the community. And for this to happen effectively, it's vital that the core, divisional headquarters and territorial headquarters all link together to support the school as a community resource. A significant rationale for Salvation Army schools is that we provide education for children who may well not otherwise have access to education. So in many of the contexts within which we work, special needs education is not readily available and Salvation Army schools enable children to access quality special needs education. The initial years of a child's life are incredibly important to their future development and this is where the core can play a vital role providing early years education. It's also a very positive link between the family and the core and the community. And if a child is playing well, is socialising well, then in fact it enables them to achieve more academically as they go through the education system. For Salvation Army schools, it's incredibly important that we focus on girls' education. The longer a girl is in school, the less prone she is to early child marriage, to modern day slavery or to being trafficked. There's also lots of evidence that the longer a girl is in high school, the healthier her future family will be. Salvation Army schools are an important link to many faiths in Christian minority communities. And in many of these communities, a Christian education is highly valued and is significant for the communities where the Salvation Army is present. Salvation Army schools play a significant role in territories which are Christian minority. For many communities, it's important that children have access to a quality Christian education. And all our schools are open to children of all faiths. And this can be a very important link between children of different faiths in the community. Currently, we have a programme of improving the water and sanitation in our schools. This is vital for children's health and it also enables girls to better access and stay in education. So it's something that we're really focused on.
We are Captains Mariska and Mark Butters, International Youth and Children's Officers at International Headquarters in London. Together with our team, we want to make sure that children and young people connected to the Salvation Army experience life in all its fullness, and by doing that are kept safe. One of the things we do is supporting territorial youth leaders by connecting them so they can help and inspire each other with programs and resources they use. We use our social media channels like Facebook and Instagram to share some of these resources. Sometimes we create materials ourselves, like the Faith Talks card game, together with the help of other colleagues, of course. <laughs> This card game is to encourage intergenerational conversations so that people of all ages can express their faith, listen to and learn from each other and deepen their personal faith. The game enables you in a simple and very accessible way to have inspiring faith talks and consists of cards with topics like building relationships, holy habits and mission. And of course, two cards help you to think and talk about the environment like the question, how can you take care of the environment? Or how could you encourage your community to work together for the environment? Let's inspire each other to become better stewards of the earth. Please visit the IHQ website and search for Faith Talks to find the game. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And stay connected. Here at Others, we uh, sell beautiful handmade products uh, handcrafted by producers and artisans in Bangladesh and Kenya. And uh, our main goal is to use trade as a tool to uh, create jobs. And uh, we like to say that by supporting others, you contribute to sustainable development in Kenya and Bangladesh. But what does that word sustainability mean when you think about climate and environment? For us, it's kind of a dilemma sometimes that we could be part of the problem and part of the solution at the same time. Um, so all of our products, they require production, packing and shipping across the world. And uh, all of that could potentially have a negative environmental footprint. Uh, at the same time as we know that maybe some of our products could be considered non-essential. So, uh, so why do we do it? Um, I think at the same time, it's important for us to say that most of us at home, we use some tea towels, we use some kitchen tools, we drink coffee, we maybe uh, decorate our home at Christmas uh, or at Easter. And uh, at others, we want to try to be part of the solution when it comes to environment and climate change by trying to reduce the environmental impact of some of these products. So specifically, uh, we try to focus on developing products that are handmade using locally available sustainable uh, products. Uh, we try to develop products that can specifically use waste from other products so that as little uh, raw material as possible goes to waste. Uh, we also try to develop products that can uh, maybe replace other less environmentally friendly products. So replacing plastic kitchen tools with wooden tools made from sustainably sourced wood uh, the handcrafting of our products generally requires very little electricity or energy to do. Um, and we're also trying specifically to develop uh, uh, products that can replace single-use items. So wooden cutlery to replace single-use plastic cutlery um, or reusable fruit and veggie bags for your supermarket shopping, etc. Uh, I think on a more general level from others, uh, we'd like to try to be part of the solution by encouraging uh, less consumption overall. Uh, so rather than buying a lot of cheap and expendable, uh, low quality products, we'd uh, want to encourage a focus on buying high quality, handmade natural products, preferably also with a positive social impact like we try to have in others. Um, so as part of the wider movement to promote fair and sustainable trade, uh, we'd like to try to make our contribution in, in uh, changing a little bit of the attitudes and behaviors towards consumption that we've, a lot of us gotten so accustomed to that we don't really think twice about. Finally, as a business, I would say we need to keep uh, asking ourselves, where can we be better? So whether it's phasing out all plastic packaging or uh, working on product development even more intentionally, there's always something we can do better. And that's a question we will continue to ask ourselves and that 
we should all also as individuals ask ourselves. Hi, my name is Joy Imesonde and I worship with the Salvation Army in Kubikoli in Lagos, Nigeria Territory. I also work with the International Social Justice Commission as a modern slavery and human trafficking response intern. The issue of climate change is a global one and one of the major sectors in the Nigerian economy that is affected by climate change is the agricultural sector. Women and girls constitute about 60 to 70 percent of the workforce. Therefore, women are affected by any strain in the agricultural sector. In rural areas, during periods of drought and erratic rainfall, women work twice as hard to secure food, water, and cooking resources like firewood for their families. Oftentimes, girls have to drop out of school to assist their mothers with the increased burden. Women are key change makers in the fight for a clean and healthy world. If we respond to the issues of climate change, we will be saving hundreds of women and girl farmers from poverty and loss of livelihoods due to the strain of cultural production. If we respond to the issues of climate change, we will be saving thousands of women and girls who go through so much physical stress in the daily to supply the family's basic needs. If we respond to the issues of climate change, we will be saving thousands of women in northern Nigeria who have been displaced from their homes as a result of drought and at the risk of being violated. Salvation Army in Nigeria have been working to see livelihoods improve and also develop communities. They provide basic amenities like access to water, hygiene, sanitation, education, and a lot more for communities and people in need. As an intern with the International Social Justice Commission, I'm committed to creating awareness and also ensuring that people affected get the support they need.